this is Firestone. It is Monday morning. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and let's get right into calendar. Today is May 18th, 2020. So 18 is 10 and 8 more. Absolutely. It's a 1 and an 8. Teen, start with a 1. So we have May 18th. Make an S and close the gate for your 8. None of those snowman 8s. And then it's 2000. 20, awesome. So if we take that and put it into the easy peasy lemon squeezy date, we have January, February, March, April, May. And that's number five, down, around, put on a hat. I'm gonna take the day number 18 and put it right here. And 2020, absolutely. What is today? Today is Monday, Monday, Monday. So I'm gonna start with uh, blue light caps because it's not just any day, it's a special day, it has a name just like you, just like me, it's Monday. So I start with a capital M and I sound it out, mm, on Monday. What are my three letters in day? D, A, Y, absolutely my friends. Monday, if today is Monday, what was that day back there? Yesterday, yesterday was Sunday. Sunday, today is Monday and tomorrow will be Tuesday. Absolutely, which means our song sounds like this. Today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long, all day long. Yesterday was Sunday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun. Awesome job. So today is Monday all day long. Have a wonderful day. I think the sun's going to be peeking out in PA. So fingers crossed, fingers, arms crossed, legs crossed, everything's crossed for a wonderful sunny day. So we are going to take this and we're going to change it. Now, this is another one that instead of just changing one letter, they changed a couple, got a little weird. I'm not even gonna kid you, okay? So just stick with me, okay? My first one is man. We're gonna pull it apart, ready? Mm, ah, mm, man, hmm. Three sounds, mm, ah, mm, man. And remember that A, that's a weird sound in A because we don't say, I see a man over there holding a pan. We say man, pan, so. Just note we have a man, man. And we're gonna change it from man to take this paper and I'm going to find a wonderful hidden treasure. It's a map. Absolutely, let's take it apart, ready? Mm, ah, map. Awesome, we're gonna say it one more time. But this time, yep, we're gonna write the letters because when you say the sound and you write the letters, that is how you write down your words. Absolutely, ready? Map. Mmm, ah, map. So all I did was I changed the ending sound, man, to map. Okay. This is where it gets a little weird. We're gonna go from map to, we're, well, it's a faucet and there's some water coming out and it's a drip, okay? So we're gonna say drip. All right, here we go. D Er, eh, so the only thing we kept was the P, exactly. So we only kept one letter. Uh, so we have from drip to tape. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. We only are keeping another letter. It's weird. I don't get it. Okay, here we go. Ready? So we have d er, it, and we're gonna go to t a p tape, huh? T a p, and I need a. Magic E at the end. This one didn't go together as much as I like their other ones. Our other ones are a little bit better. So you have tape and that's a long A and I have a silent E at the end. So I have to write a sentence. So I have my blue, I have my blue light caps because we know we want to start our sentence with a capital. We want spaces between the words and we want to end with a period, absolutely. So I'm gonna say, I need tape for my map. Then I'm using two of my words, okay? So I'm gonna start with I. I'm gonna leave spaces and I have need. Need. I need tape. 
And here's my word tape. I can take it right from there. I need tape to fix my map. I need tape to fix my map. Nice job. Awesome. So I'd love to hear what your sentences are. So let me know. And just like that, all your fingers must be crossed because the sun just started to peek out. Nice job. Thanks for crossing your fingers. Okay. So I'm going to go down to my number 23, 23, 20, 20, 20, 20, 23. Yep. So we have 23. So if we count by fives, we could say 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. Ah, if we count by tens and then count by ones, we have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. Ha, ah, that's awesome. So, okay, if I counted by tens, I did 10, 20. One, two. So I had two sets of tens. One, two, three and three extra ones. So if I go down here, how many are in those towers? 10, I heard you, you even said it before I even could get the th whole sentence out of my mouth. <laughs> Good job. So I have 10 in those towers. So how many towers do I need? Hmm, so I need 10, and we're gonna count by tens again and say 20. Do we need the next one? No, because that would be 30, that's way too much. So I have 10. 20, jump over to the ones and go 21, 22, 23. 23, awesome. Can we write 23? We sure can. A two and a three, 23. A two and a three, 23. A two and a three, 23. Awesome. So I go up here. And first, when we're doing our set, our word problems, what's the first thing you want to do? Yeah, circle your sight words because we want to know what words we can read and then what words we have to sound out, maybe ask her help with. We need to figure that out first. So I'm going to just pull my, my chair over. I have my little stool. Here we go. Let's see how many words we know. Oh, there were. Oh, I can sound this one out. K, er, a, b, s, cur, abs, crabs on the, oh, there's a ch, two vowels, that must be it. B, each, beach, then, I'm not too sure. He says, oh, that must be came. How, I'm not too sure. Oh, crabs, that's up there. Crabs, crabs were there in all. Ooh, in all. That's important. Okay. There were eight crabs on the beach. Stop. How many crabs are on the beach? Eight. Let's make some crabs on the beach. I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. I'm gonna give them little claws. Do I have to make them perfect? Because in my math drawings, do I have to look beautiful with details and colors? Who needs to know what they are? This girl. And you need to know what's on your paper. That's all that matters, okay? So we have eight crabs, then four more came for more came so more makes things bigger it makes things larger so this must be a adding problem absolutely gus the plus is going to be around here so we have then four more came one two three four put my little claws on them I have four more came. Hmm. How many crabs were there in all? Those special words, in all, that tells me, hey, I want to know how many all together. So if I were to write this in numbers, I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus, because we're making it bigger, yep, one, two, three, four. 
equals or in all, right? Okay, so let's figure this out. I have eight and four more. So I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 crabs on the beach. Holy moly, that sounds like dinner, right? Absolutely, 12 crabs are on the beach. You guys did a great job. Awesome. I hope you have a wonderful, or uh, not a wonderful Monday. How about a marvelous Monday? And I hope you have a good day. Do something kind. Say hello. Oh, look, Teddy's coming to say hi. Oh, he's just going to peek his eyes up. Ready? Ooh. Hi, guys. Have a wonderful day. Have Make it a marvelous Monday. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.